Today we're going to make a macro or close-up lens for our CVS handheld camcorder. We'll need a few things. We'll need a disposable 35 millimeter film camera which you can get at film processing stores usually just for the asking for free. We'll need a small pill bottle, a box cutter knife, some five minute epoxy, and a quarter inch drill. Also we've got a little lid for mixing the epoxy in. The first thing we need to do is disassemble the throwaway camera. Now as you can see we've already taken the film out and had it processed. We pulled the back off and what we're going to be doing is we're going to salvage the lens from the front. We do this by disassembling the camera by unsnapping the faceplate. Basically the camera is held together by snaps that you can pry it apart like so. Be very careful with the circuit board because this thing has upwards of 220 volts to operate the flash. Now, we have the lens, which we can snap off, like so. And we have our lens we're going to use for the close-up. Now we can save the rest of this to use for the circuitry. But right now we're concerned with just the lens. <coughs> and there's our lens, and here's our pill bottle. Now if you notice, the pill bottle has an indented bottom, and the lens will fit right into that indentation. The only problem is we need a hole for the lens to see through, and that's where the drill comes in. Using the quarter-inch drill, we proceed to drill a hole in the bottom of the pill bottle. We then remove the label from the pill bottle and it'll look something like this. Now, we've already used the box cutter <coughs> to cut the bottom off of this pill bottle. Just got it taped right here so you can see what it looks like. We've cut the bottom off <coughs> and we have a hole drilled in it. We place the lens over the hole so, then we mix up a batch of our five minute epoxy using two drops of each in our little cup. Next, we apply the epoxy around the lens and let it dry. What we have then is a small but convenient macro lens or close-up lens that we can put on our <coughs> CVS camera like so 
and take close-up pictures. Here we see a dime, a penny, and a pencil next to our close-up lens. As we use the standard lens on the camera to move in close, we notice that the picture blurs. That's because these little cameras are not good for close-up or macro. Let's add the macro lens. Now we can move in closer and see the details on the dime or the penny. pencil. As you can see, we've just made a macro close-up lens very inexpensively, basically for just the cost of the epoxy. And that's another project from Electroman 49.